First of all, Coach, congratulations on the win tonight. Thank you, thank you. It was a, a hard fought win, that's for sure. You know, it's the first game for you guys. It's on their home court and they already played a game on there. Did that make a little bit of difference tonight, do you think? Yes, uh, you know, always playing your first game in the regional is a little tougher. I think the nerves get to some guys, especially we only have one, Brett's really the only guy that's been in this uh, situation before. So it's tough for those other guys, not playing until Thursday. It's, it's a tough situation for them. So you get that under your belt, that's a good thing then. Yeah, I'm hoping we play a lot better tomorrow night, yeah. Uh, Betting has uh, 37 points tonight, uh, even a couple bank three-pointers, but you'll take them, won't you? Oh, yeah, yes, <laughs> we will take them, yes. Uh, he struggled a little bit shooting again. Uh, he's a little rusty. He's coming off a little injury there, but he's, he's gutting it out. I think in the first quarter I saw him kind of limp around a little bit. Is it a leg injury then? Or? Oh, it's his foot. It, he's got a sore foot. Um, once he gets going on it, I think it loosens up a little bit. He's able to go a little bit better on it, but they're usually early in the game. Um, it's a little tight, a little sore. And South Beloit gave you everything they had. I know Taylor had like 13, 14 points in the uh, third quarter. He, he killed us in the third quarter. He was awesome that third quarter. We had a big run. I don't know what we were up, about 17, I think. 18, I think, yeah. 18, and then he almost single-handedly brought him back in the game by hitting shots after shot. But it's a good game for your kids because they didn't let that bother them and they hung in there and played well then. Yep, you know, you get in that situation, you can either fold, you can fight back, and we fought back, so that's a good sign for our kids. Congratulations on the win. Okay, thank you. First of all, congratulations on the win tonight. Thank you. South Beloit gave you all they, they had tonight and they played a really good second half against you guys. Yeah, definitely. We, um, I mean, we we didn't rebound well. They got, a lot, they got way too many offensive rebounds in that second half and we're going to have to play a lot better to win tomorrow night. You know, it was your first uh, tournament game. They had played here, and it's also their home court. I think that made a little bit of a difference tonight. Uh, it did, yeah, definitely playing on their home court. That's going to give them a little advantage. And uh, But we, we played here six times already, so I mean, we're familiar with the court, so that wasn't really an excuse for us. How's your leg doing? I know you were limping just a little bit today. Oh, it's fine. It's fine? Yeah. 37 points, good night, even a couple bank shots for three. Uh, yeah, I wasn't, I wasn't expecting those. So. I saw a couple of times you smiled after those. They, they yeah. count, though, don't they? Yeah, they do. That's why, that's why I was smiling. Get ready for the regional championship game. You think that'll help having this game under your belt already? Yeah, definitely. Anytime we can get some experience in a regional, champion, in a, in a regional it's definitely going to help for that. For that thank, thank you, and good luck the rest of the year. Thank you. Coach, it wasn't a win, but your kids played their heart out tonight. Yeah, we played really tough. I mean, uh, it was an 11-point game at halftime, and I think they pushed it up to 17-18, and uh, we fought back to get into three, and uh, I thought we fought, showed a lot of heart uh, getting it back to that close of a game and making it a game the second half. And there were some fouls called on your kids. I'm not trying to pick on the officials, but it, they were calling them pretty tight when you guys had three guys foul out. Yeah, we had three guys foul out, and uh, the last one was, uh, or the first one was uh, Sebastian Taylor, and I think he had 23 at the time as he fouled out, and it was a pretty iffy call, and that took a little bit of uh, air out of our wings at the time, because I think there were like four minutes uh, left in the game, and it was like a five, six point game at that time. So uh, that, that frustrated us a little, but uh, you, know, you know, there's nothing we can do about that. And Taylor, he was out of this world in the second half, wasn't he? Yeah, Sebastian, uh, he's, he's obviously uh, been one of our best players uh, this year. He only ended up playing uh, eight games. He broke his wrist uh, first game or second game of the year um, and just came back a few weeks ago. Uh, so he's kind of been playing, uh, you know, catch up all season. And uh, tonight was the best he's looked all year, and it was a good time for it. You had to be proud of them, though. They were down by, like, 18, and you guys called a timeout and came right back. Yeah, I mean, we, we were trying to rush. I thought, you know, they were thinking, like, oh, we're down 18. we got to get all the points back in the next mm -hmm. couple of possessions. And it was still halfway through the third quarter. Just told them there's plenty of game left, and we just got to keep playing. Well, congratulations. I know it wasn't a win, but your yeah. kids played well. Thank you. First of all, what a wild third quarter you had, man. You were out of this world. Thank you. Did, did you just feel it, or was it just time for you to take control a little bit tonight? I just thought my teammates had a lot of confidence in me shooting the ball, and I just couldn't. I just felt like I couldn't miss, and I just kept shooting, and they go, they went in. And you also were playing some good defense tonight, because that's a pretty good team you played tonight. Yeah, they're a good team. When you uh, were down like by 18, did you guys have something to say to each other in the huddle at all tonight? Yeah, our, our captain Tommy Honecker, he really, he really pushed us to uh, keep fighting, and stay aggressive, and really push the ball and keep shooting. He put a lot, he put a lot of confidence in me to take over and really make some shots. 23 points tonight. Good night for you. Have you ever had a night like that before? Or? I would have to say this is my best game overall, and it was a lot of fun. And it was against a quality team, yeah. so. Well, congratulations. Sorry you didn't win, but a uh, good night for you. Thank you. Coach, congratulations on the win, and uh, you guys just controlled the uh, baseline all night tonight. Yeah, I, believe, I would think we controlled uh, the baseline and quite a bit of everything tonight we controlled. We're really glad to see this good all-around game from front to end. So 
Uh, it was really nice. You know, Brian had 24 points, but that's because he's on the right end of that uh, last pass. Yep, exactly right. Exactly. I think we broke the pass pretty good, and uh, we ran our offense. We moved the ball well, and uh, they found the openings, and uh, we got a lot of good opening shots there, so it was really nice. It and, the, out well. and you guys controlled the rebounding, too. You guys controlled the boards all night long. Well, I, I, I think we gave up a few on uh, defensive boards that we shouldn't have gave up. We gave up a couple that I didn't like, that uh, they got two or three attempts there. Uh, right in the third quarter, I didn't like, but uh, uh, what? But not for that. I think we did all right. And their pressure did bother you for a while tonight before you made a couple adjustments. Yeah, yeah we've been having a little bit of trouble all year long, so we we had to we put something new in this week, and I think it helped dramatically. So uh, we'll keep working on that tomorrow and we'll go over that tomorrow in pregame. Make sure we got that in place. Tomorrow night's Dakota yep. for the regional title. What what do you expect in that game? Uh, trying to figure out how to stop Bennings. What we got to do? Try to figure out how to stop him. So. Thanks, Coach. Congratulations. Thank you.
Ladies and gentlemen, the starting lineup for the Grand Bulldogs, number 10, Reese Emerson. Number 11, Colton Nash. Number 12, Parker Burton. Number 14, Colin Palmer. And number 40, Ethan Chandler. Gentlemen, the starting line for the Christian Light Eagles, number three, Eli Sanchez. Number four, Isaiah Jones. Number five, Luke Goodrich. Number 13, Cameron Gasaro. And number 15, Nico Sanchez.
We'll see you tomorrow night for the championship game as well. So three point shootout. Good night, everyone.